This is music, and these belong in a museum. We stayed at my parents' place over Christmas. I did a bit of cassette tape archaeology and I found these cassette tapes that I thought were lost forever in the mists of time. So I figured I would share these with you. Up first, my old copy of Bon Jovi's New Jersey. I really like how they cropped the artwork to fit the, uh, to fit the cassette format. This is my old copy. I think my parents gave it to me for Christmas back in the day. Uh, I really liked this album when it came out and I still really like it. As you can see, the cassette has seen a lot of action. The print is partially worn off, but you can still see uh, what's side one and what's side two. And the J card, pretty cool, fold out one. Looks like John Bon Jovi is taking a leak twice. That's weird, but whatever. And on the other side, you have the lyrics. So I have lots of fond memories of listening to this one, you know, in our car stereo, on road trips in the family, um, <clears throat> on boom boxes at school, just at home. Um, and like I said, I still like this album a lot. So there you go. Does it play? I don't know. I have to check. Uh, it has been sitting around in a barn for 20 years, as have all these tapes. The next one, really cool, Idetix Mirror Passway 2, or Mirror Passway Demo 2 is what it's called. Uh, a demo tape by a Danish uh, progressive metal band. On this tape, they play a kind of progressive power thrash style, along the lines of Voivod. The... The label here wasn't originally gray, it was white, but it's just faded. And the J card is really professional for a 90s demo tape. It has pictures of the band, it has liner notes, uh, you even have lyrics. So, really, really cool to have this one. If you want to check out this band, uh, go to the Danish Demo Dungeon. Uh, this uh, demo should be documented and um, archived there. It's really good stuff. I really like it. I hope it plays. The next one, super important, uh, Iron Maiden Killers. This was the second album I ever bought for my allowance money. And this is the actual copy. Um, the, the case is a quite beat up it has seen better days i will probably replace it the shell too uh there's barely any printing left you can see that this is side one but that's about it on side two there's nothing left on it printing wise and uh the j card is a very very simple j card just like this and uh like this and I have lots of fond memories of listening to this one on my boom box and on the family stereo and in the car stereo when the entire family went on road trips because my parents were really cool. They wouldn't have a problem with my brother and I listening to Iron Maiden and Bon Jovi and ACDC and stuff like that on the car stereo. Um, so that's very cool. Up next, another demo that I thought was lost forever. Mirror Blind Tales. And this is one I even considered trying to go out and find and hunt in the wild. It would probably cost me a, an arm and a leg. But yeah, I found my old copy. Does it play? I don't know, but I hope it does. But it's still cool to just find it. The J card, simple. It's printed on a kind of a thick stock of paper though. That's That was unusual. But it's I think I think it's photocopied onto it. The writing seems to have been typed out on a typewriter, and um, but it's still kind of professional looking, because most of us bands in the '90s, when we did demos, it would just be you know Xeroxed onto uh, 
you know, a, a piece of uh, A4 paper and then we would cut it out and it would look terrible. Uh, but yeah, very cool. This is old school heavy metal with some uh, hard rock and a lot of melody. Uh, very inspired by Iron Maiden. I hope it plays, but just finding it is cool. And up last, this one wasn't part of my original collection. But it's still kind of important and I'll tell you why. Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. <clears throat> now... I was never really a big fan of Pink Floyd. It has changed a bit since Garage Geek sent me a cool best off cassette tape. And that tape had a couple of songs on, actually a lot of songs that I dug, but it had a couple of songs that I knew quite well because I had heard them when I was a kid. And those songs are Time and Money. And that's because from this very cassette tape, my dad would listen to it. And of course, we would pick up on some of the songs. And um, Time and Money, very recognizable songs too, it has to be said. Uh, so yeah, I, I figured I would pick this one up too, although it wasn't part of my old collection. I asked, hey, can I take the Pink Floyd one too? My dad said, yeah, take all the cassette tapes if you want. I don't listen to him. So... Uh, I, I grabbed this one and I look forward to listening to it if it plays. So I'm going to do more uh, cassette tape archaeology uh, when I visit my parents. And I think I'm probably doing them a favor by relieving them of some of my old cassette tapes. But there you go. Just wanted to share these cool items with you. Thanks for watching.